Is eating one meal a day safe? Some may say it's too extreme and risky, while others claim it's an effective way to force your body to burn fat. So today, we'll explain what kind of risks you may experience by eating one meal a day, and we'll give you simple tips on how to avoid them. Number one, overeating. You may feel entitled or deserving to eat whatever you want during your one meal, because come on, you were fasting for 23 hours. Why can't you reward yourself with pizza, tacos, or whatever? Well, this kind of mindset can lead to overeating or binge eating unhealthy processed foods. And it means you'll only get loads of empty calories, but zero vitamins and nutrients. So basically, you will get zero benefits. There, we said it. This risk of overeating especially increases during the first three days of OMAD, when your body is still adapting to your new eating habits. But we have good news. You can avoid overeating if you are strategic about your food choices. Here are three simple steps that you have to do. First of all, you shouldn't consume less than 1,200 calories a day. You need them to provide your body with energy. Also, if you eat fewer calories than recommended, you'll end up binge eating. Secondly, it's absolutely crucial to include nutrient-dense foods, such as veggies, fruits, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Here's the list that you should include in your daily meal. Thirdly, consider tracking your calories to see the quality and diversity of nutrients you're consuming. This way, you'll see if your food choices are right and will help you to understand how OMAD affects your weight. Lastly, drink loads of water throughout the day. It will help reduce your hunger pangs. We know that OMAD can be quite a challenge, so if you feel that it would be too hard for you both physically and mentally, try other intermittent fasting methods, such as 16-8. Number two, you may feel that you're starving. Since you won't be feeding yourself anything other than one meal, your body will come to the conclusion it's starving. That's because you're reducing your calories that put your body in, let's say, shock. But there's one thing you should remember. Feelings of hunger come in waves, and they generally last around 15 or 20 minutes. If you patiently wait it out, it passes. Also, for most people, it takes around three days to adapt to the new eating pattern. After this period, it'll get easier, and you'll be less and less hungry. One study showed that participants who were consuming one meal a day had a significant decrease in hunger, a significant modification of body composition, and reductions in fat mass. However, if you're struggling with your hunger really badly, there are a few ways to reduce it. First of all, make sure your body gets enough minerals during your eating window. Eat foods that are rich in sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. This will get your hunger under control during fasting hours. Secondly, try drinking green tea during your fast. It contains two compounds, caffeine and catechins. Caffeine increases fat burning and suppresses appetite, while catechins boost metabolism and reduce fat. These two simple yet effective steps can help you manage your fasting window in an easier way without the feeling of starvation. Number three, your body may shut down. Since 23 hours of fasting is an extreme fasting pattern, you may face some unpleasant feelings, such as weakness, fatigue, or lack of concentration. It's because of an uneven supply of energy, or in other words, food. But again, there's a great chance that it'll pass after a few days, just like hunger pangs. Actually, one meal a day can improve your energy and focus. How is that possible? First of all, if you usually eat three meals a day and some snacks in between, most of your energy resources go to digestion. That makes you feel tired and dizzy. With one meal a day, you give your digestion system a much needed break balance blood sugar, and stabilize your insulin levels. It means you may feel less tired and more energetic. Furthermore, one meal a day may improve your sleep. Fasting for at least 12 hours a day can help improve your circadian rhythm, which means deeper and better sleep. However, if you still feel that your body after a few days with OMAD keeps shutting down, it's a sign that you should switch it to a less strict intermittent fasting pattern. Before you begin a one meal a day or any other eating pattern, ask for advice from your doctor. This diet probably won't be a good fit for you if you exercise often, are underweight, or struggle with serious medical conditions. Always remember that you are responsible for your own health, so make sure you you don't cross the line. If you want to find out about the actual benefits of eating one meal a day, check out six amazing health benefits of one meal a day. Also, if you want to find out about less strict intermittent fasting methods, check out our Intermittent Fasting The Ultimate Guide playlist.